Hey guys, Brady here. I'm going to review Armageddon. So basically this is about um, a group of these, I want to say oil fillers or whatever, uh, are ordered to go into space and film and like uh, try to, uh, um, what's it called, they have to land on an asteroid and see that they could make it not hit into Earth because in the beginning of the movie it shows that uh, asteroids are coming down and destroying New York City and uh, actually this came out the same year as Godzilla nothing about it the Chrysler building top half of the Chrysler building gets destroyed in the same exact way in Godzilla in this movie just a thought they're both it's they're both destruction lovers, Michael Bay and Roland Emmerich. I'm just pointing that out there. And this came out the same year as Deep Impact, which Deep Impact had it like a similar premise to this. Same with Same with um Ants and A Bug's Life, which came out the same exact year. Or the uh had the same premise. But uh so yeah, the group of these misfits who aren't really trained astronauts, um, Billy Bob Thornton's character is, is like, we're going to have to send a group of these people into space and we're going to have have them see if they could try to have the asteroid miss Earth completely and crash somewhere else. And uh, that's basically it. Um, I, I wanted to like this a lot more. Than I did, uh, considering that it's Michael Bay. Um, I know his movies aren't great, but they're entertaining to watch for like two and a half hours just to watch explosions and stuff. But you don't really get too many explosions in this, because unless you're counting space explosions in the first 20 minutes or so of the movie. But uh, yeah, this movie was not as good as, I, like I said, not as good as I was hoping for. It wasn't as good as The Rock or the f first Transformers movie. But um, some of it was very entertaining. Um, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Steve Buscemi is in this movie. And Michael Clark Dun Duncan, who would also appear in another Michael Bay movie called The Island. And Ben Affleck was in this, who was also in Pearl Harbor about three or four years later. Um, oh yeah, it also shows him going through training and stuff about on um, how to like training. It like shows him underwater and like this big deep pool. Uh, it's sort of like a pool simulator for them to feel how it's like to float around in space. Stuff like that, which I thought it was a pretty cool scene. Um, so yeah, I give uh, Armageddon two two and a half stars out of five.